What's up everybody? So today in this video, what I'm going to be going through is using the to now and from now formulas in Airtable. And I'm going to just quickly show you how to set those up, some use cases that you might be using those for. Uh, and so if you haven't met me before, my name is Ben Green. I'm the owner of Optimize IS. And what we do is we help business owners, probably just like you, help you optimize your information systems in Airtable, uh, Airtable for a CRM or asset management, uh, Asana for project management and Slack and for communications uh, so if you're interested in any services you can check that the link down in the description and request a consultation from me or someone on my team uh, but without further ado we'll get right in the video now so as you can see here uh, we have this we have, we're in a social media planning and design base I believe this was just a template that I used really all you'll need here is this date field so I'm gonna pick just a, a day here for this example and I'm gonna add a formula field on the right so the key here is just to come to the date field and then right click on it and then insert right. And then you'll scroll down here to formula and this will be two now. So there's these two formulas and I think they're really great. I think they can kind of replace the date time diff formula in some situations. So the first one is two now. Now whenever I add a formula in here, I like to just come over here and click right here and it'll give you the operator. So the two now is really simple. There's just one operator in here. Um, and what I mean by operator is there's uh, one thing in here. Um, it's tough to highlight that, but if there were more than one operator, there'd be a separator, which is a comma. Uh, but here we only have this one. So here we can just choose whichever date, wherever your date field is, you can just insert that right there. So now you can see this will give you the two now. And if we come back in here, uh, it's the relative time to now. So some of these are like in hours, some of these are in months, some of these are in years. So this is gonna give you the best uh, increment of time as well, depending on uh, how far away that time is relative to now. So that's the really simple to now formula. Now, if you wanted, if we wanted to add some dates in here, like in the future, and we wanted to change this one to that one, and then maybe this one to tomorrow, then what we can do, and obviously you'll still see these ones, uh, we're waiting for them to update. So I don't know what it will do if the date is in the future for the two now. But if you want to use the from now formula, I would again right click up here and then insert right and then scroll down to formula. And this one will be from now. So if you just start typing in there, it'll come right up there. And as you can see, there's also only one operator in this formula. So these are pretty simple formulas. All you have to do is insert the date that you want to be calculating the difference between that date and now. Um, and it's going to give you like the best increments again. So date posted, uh, we'll choose that one again. And we can see, uh, I don't know how accurate, I guess, uh, I guess some of these are, uh, if we go now in the future, so we can see both of these will give us a month and that's kind of interesting because uh, some of these are, it's, it's giving you the absolute value of it. So it looks like depending on which one you do, it's not gonna give you like a month, uh, like a month negative or a month positive. Uh, it's just gonna give you the difference between that date and now. So I think it's pretty great. Uh, you can use, and this one should be named from now. Um, another thing people really like to do with dates is they like to just format this date better. So if you're using th this date field in a formula anywhere else besides like I would say probably these two formulas, then you're going to get a really sloppy date formula. And I'll show you what that looks like right now. Like if you reference that date field anywhere, if we just do date posted, then you're going to get, I okay, this one, this one doesn't look too bad, but if we did like a concatenate to make it a text string, then what this would look like is that. So if you're curious on how to make that look prettier, and I don't think it looks very pretty at all, uh, but if you wanna learn how to make that prettier with the date time format formula, then you can check out this video on the end screen right here and learn all about the date time format formula. Uh, if you're watching this video, I assume you're committed to learning these formulas, so I encourage you to just go check that one out right there, and you'll learn how to do even more with dates in Airtable. So I hope you had a great day. I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope it gave you some value. Uh, the two now and from now are very simple formulas, uh, but that one's a little bit more advanced. So go check that out. And without further ado, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.